from Shadow the Rat, and in this video I thought I would talk about some of the ways you can play with and engage your rats. So it can be a little difficult to think about just how you can play with your rats because they're so small and they're so much smaller than a cat, dog, or ferret, so it can be hard to think about gentle ways to play with them that won't scare them and that will also engage the rat itself. Now one of the easiest and best ways to engage most rats is to use a string or a straw of sorts and just wiggle it around on the floor like you would in front of a kitten and I think you'll find that most rats will pounce on this and enjoy greatly chasing it and running around and grabbing it in their mouths and tugging it and just trying to get it away from you. You have to remember that rats are predators actually in some way. I mean they don't usually chase after their own food in the wild and kill it but they are opportunistic scavengers and they will very much enjoy chasing down bugs. I've seen this with my own girls and eating them which is kind of gross but okay they like it and it's okay it won't hurt them so if you give them the opportunity to do so with a string or a straw they'll very much enjoy chasing it around as you play with them and I found that particularly with my girls who are less human oriented like let's say my girl Barry they very much enjoyed this method because it doesn't have anything to do with your hands but they're still getting to interact with you in some way or another another good thing about using a straw or some sort of toy dangling on the floor is that you're not actually engaging your rat in a way that can make them more aggressive. Now most rats are okay being hand wrestled, but sometimes you'll get the aggressive rat or the hyper stimulated rat like my girl Barry, and if you try hand wrestling with them, you can just make them way too excited. Like in the case of Barry, she would get so excited that she would afterwards lunge at my hand and bite it until it bled, which, you know, kind of sucked. So I had to stop trying to hand wrestle with her because it was just actually impeding progress. Barry already had a biting issue. And even today, if I do it, she will at some point get to the point where she can no longer contain herself and she will nip. So it's a bad idea to do this if you have, you know, a rat who is very prone to being hyper stimulated like Blackberry. But Blackberry very much loves chasing around strings and corks. Oh yeah, so I should talk about corks. And in this video, you can see I'm using a cork tied to a string. And the reason I'm doing this is because rats really like to chew on corks and they're perfectly safe for them. So if you take a cork and you tie it to a string, most likely your rat is going to be very interested in chasing it around, grabbing that cork and going off to chew it, like you see Barry do in this video clip. So yeah, this is one of the methods I really encourage you to use with your rats because I think you'll find that they very much enjoy it and you yourself will enjoy playing around with them. Okay, so another thing you can do with your rats, and this really only applies to if the rat is younger or just very, very playful, is hand wrestle them. Many rats will outgrow this by the time they're six to 12 months old, but younger rats in particular can be very fun to try to flip over and you just want to, you know, tickle their back or tickle their bellies and then this will send them bounding off and they should come back or like you see on the screen, Latte would try to play nip me back. This, this didn't hurt at all. It just felt like she was gently clamping her teeth around my finger. Then she would let go and let me go ahead and tickle her back and we would just repeat this over and over and it was lots of fun. However, Latte did outgrow this at around eight or nine months old and now she doesn't really like to do it so I don't do it anymore because it just annoys her. And you'll also see clips of my girl Cookie on screen doing this. Cookie still likes to hand wrestle occasionally and she really likes to be ruffled in the back where she'll go bounding off and then come back and get ruffled again. And it's just a lot of fun to play this sort of game with her. Keep in mind that not all rats will like to hand wrestle so if your rats are looking unsure or they avoid you after you try hand wrestling with them, you should just play with them in other ways. And then of course there is training with your rats. Now this is something I am a big advocate of because I know a lot of people get small pets and then they don't think they can really interact with them and then these pets end up living out their lives in a cage which is really no life at all. So something that's really fun to do with any rodent, but you know, rats in particular, because they're very responsive and very smart, very happy to actually engage with you in this way, is to train them some simple tricks or even some more complex tricks. So my girls have learned everything from, you know, fetching a ball to agility to fetching something from a purse or stacking rings. And I can tell you that all of these behaviors, they do very willingly. They love to get treats at the end and it gives them a good reason to get motivated and exercise and, you know, mentally engage with me. So yeah, I hope this gives you a few ideas for how you can play with your rats. And I really encourage you to go out and, you know, try different things, try hand wrestling, try dragging something on the floor, try, you know, just playing around with them, having them train, all sorts of things. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope this video was helpful and I hope that you enjoyed. Bye!